Like, yeah, man, I think Rachel's beautiful because she's got good brains. <laughs> Before Roll Safe's original Hood documentary video would be released in 2015 and blow up online, clocking in at almost 3 million views. Before Roll Safe would blow up, the most popular meme of February 2017, with RS being replaced by Donald Trump, Shrek, and even Dragon Ball Z Cell. Testing out the engine and that, you get me? Just testing it out. <laughs> Before Roll Safe would appear on Charlie Sloth's Radio One Extra series, Fire in the Booth, which clocked in almost 7 million views at the time of this recording. I'm gonna spit some bars. Listen. Get them, fam. Listen. Show them what you got, Listen. fam. Oh. Remember the S's? Oh. Before Roll Safe would team up with BBC3 releasing multiple hood documentary videos, each following the character on different journeys like RS attending yoga class and him attempting to find a job. Good luck. You know what RS, I get people like you, turn the camera off. Relax, relax bro, relax. The character of Ray Simpson aka Roll Safe is the creation of actor Coyote Uumi and his personal life story carries many parallels to that of RS. Roll Safe is an aspiring grime MC but is also a triple threat who can sing, dance and act despite a strong lisp. Coyote himself has always been immersed in the arts, performing in youth groups when he was just 15 and going on to university to study drama. He was working as an usher at a theatre when he first dropped his hood documentary video way back in October 11th of 2015. He quickly found fame in his local London and teamed up with the BBC to produce more content but it wasn't until 2017 that he would find an audience in America in an unexpected form. Is that of a meme. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Coyote Umi, or Roll Safe, here for you up before they're famous. Now these meme videos are becoming quite popular, we've done Salt Bay, we've done Cash Me Outside, and the Pineapple Pen Dude. So uh, I guess let us know who's next in the comments down below. And subscribe so you don't miss it when we do it. My name is Kaede Iwumi and I'm an actor and writer. Kaede Iwumi was born on November 2nd, 1993 in London, England, growing up in an area known as Elephant and Castle, where he still lives to this day. He is the middle child of a Nigerian British family who all have a great sense of humour. At the age of 5, he first met Tyrell Williams, his creative partner, who he refers to as his brother. Tyrell is the co-creator of Hood Documentary and the man behind the camera. What are you saying, Dado? So obviously, these are my men, you know, I've known these men since day, especially Ralph and that. Like most performers, KOD realized early on that he had an interest in making others laugh and would spend countless hours in front of the mirror. He got his first taste of training and professional performance at the Young Vic Youth Theatre, which is the same place he would later find employment as a part-time usher. That might not sound like a great gig, but actors gotta eat. And our boy Mark from the Science Faction Show, he does some usher work on his own when he's not hosting them videos. So give the guy a sub, help him out. Half the population wakes up each morning with this, but have you ever wondered why? Why do men get morning wood? Time to find out. When Coyote was just 19, he tried his hand at stand-up comedy, taking the stage only twice, and quickly realized that it wasn't for him. He won some kind of scholarship or early entry to university, studying journalism, but after a few short days, he knew it wasn't for him, and switched up his path, enrolling at City and Islington College with a major in theater and professional practice. Following graduation, now a certified actor, he realized that breaks were hard to come by. He would entertain his friends with videos on WhatsApp while running to auditions and making money as an usher. Working with his longtime pal Tyrell, they were looking at some of his videos that he was posting to WhatsApp and they were like, you've got some kind of character here. He was encouraged then to post his videos to Twitter and he began to gain a following. Soon after, Tyrell and Coyote, they decided to invest some time in producing a 22 minute roll save video and it would be a mockumentary that would change their lives. Vines and Twitter videos was too much for me. It wasn't, I wasn't challenging myself as a creative. I thought it was too easy doing African accent, everyone laughed. Like, what is that? All of the elements of the character came together organically. His leather jacket he borrowed from his dad. He was so hot he decided to take off his undershirt. The lisp just kind of happened, so they rolled with it safely. I'm smoked from that. Hmm. 
<laughs> now, a lot of people are questioning if he took some inspiration from Eddie Murphy, but Coyote went on to say that he's not a huge Eddie Murphy fan. The inspiration for the character is based in the reality that everyone knows someone who thinks they're much better connected than they really are. The original Hood documentary video clocked in 100k views in its first week, and the boys followed it up with a second video that was strangely taken down. BBC's Radio 1 Extra invited Coyote to appear on the program in character, and the boy delivered. I waited for this song a long time. I'm here, Mama made it. Aye, 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 listen. This video took off for the YouTube channel for the radio station, and it was beating the likes of videos they had with Ed Sheeran. From there, BBC3 commissioned an entire online series for Hood Documentary. Episode 1, Happy Belated, is the most popular of the six, and is also the one that's now famous for the image of Roll Safe pointing to his head. Yeah, man, I think Mitch was beautiful because he's got good brains. At the time of this recording, the video has over a million views and 1,300 comments. The origin of Roll Safe as a meme has been traced to Trap of Fassa, who posted Men Are Trash tweets have gone down by 70% due to the approach of February. Also, Ryan Window with two W's, he tweeted, You can't be broke if you don't check your bank account. From there, Roll Safe spilled over to Reddit, followed by news sites Hip Hop Wired and Bossip, who began publishing articles about the image and its creator. It took a while for America to catch on, but by the time they did, Coyote had already retired the character via Twitter, announcing that he was going to start exploring other forms of inspiration. The guy is off to a great start, picking up acting work in short films and a major role in the reboot of Are You Being Served? Good for him. Improvisation doesn't always go to plan, but I guess that's the joys of you're on your toes. You never know where it's going to go, you know, so it can go left or right, but it's still fun at the end of the day. He also picked up a BAFTA award for Breakthrough Britain 2016 and is pretty confident that he's going to be a big star with a bright future. So you might want to get used to his face, if you're not sick of it already. You're fired Sally, yeah? Get back to the job centre, you slapper. <laughs> As for the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrendon, we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. We've done a bunch of memes in the past, so you might want to browse through those. Actually, they're becoming so popular, I might make a playlist. Let me know who's next down below. See you guys in another video. Yeah, la, 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 la. Boom! Kind of. So, uh, what's next, Aris? I don't really get what you're asking me.